Hi everyone, please welcome to our new program Silent Voice from Holot. My name is Ali and today I will be talking about um, how the asylum seekers summon to Holot detention facility. First of all, um, let me give you a brief introduction about um, procedures and how uh, the asylum seekers were summoned to Holot a detention center. In the beginning of uh, 2014, after we protested uh, against the decision of Holot, and immigration authorities and the Ministry of Interior ordered that all asylum seekers in Israel um, should be um, detained in Holot detention facility. And then um, all the people were summoned in uh, beginning of 2014 were men under 60 and over 18 and they they must be here in Israel for four years or five years and then because detention facility is not limited time so they have to stay in Holot or they will be uh, um, deport to their third country or their own countries. And then the rule was changed after a petition by the uh, humanitarian uh, organizations and human rights lawyers. And then the time was limited to uh, 20 months. And later in 2015, the High Court of Justice also intervened to reduce the, the period of time from 20 months to uh, one year. And now all the asylum seekers were summoned for one year only. And those who uh, been here for two years in since the beginning of 2014, they were released in August 2015. And now all the people here, they signed the contract that they will stay in Holod detention center for a year. So this is a brief introduction of Holod and how the asylum seeker were summoned to a detention center. Please follow me in the coming video. I will be talking about regulations inside the detention facility and how uh, inhabitants live in these uh, circumstances so thank you very much for watching and please uh, follow me on wave news blog and tumblr website and also on my facebook and uh, blog bye for now